hello welcome back to my channel if anyone that doesn't know me I'm Rachel from mommy in training um, I blog most of the time I do the odd vlog but as you can see I don't present myself usually well my hair's a bit of a mess Sam is napping at the moment and I have just sat and watched the C word so if my eyes look a bit puffy it's because I have blubbed through the whole thing it's such an inspiring story and one thing that it really showed was how influential blogging is and I, I just think that's absolutely amazing. So with that in mind I wanted to talk to you rather than write to you I wanted to talk to you about postnatal anxiety. Postnatal anxiety I suffered with after having Sam um, came on when he was about four months old. I've written a blog post on it I'll link it below that gives you all the background on how I suffered with it, the symptoms I had um, how I dealt with it. There's loads of posts on my blog that will help anybody who's just starting to find their feet with it a little bit so please pop over and have a look if it, you think it might help you. What I wanted to talk to you about today is when you suffer from postnatal anxiety you feel so alone. You don't think anybody else feels the way that you are feeling. For example right now um, my husband's gone away for the week Sam is napping and that used to be my prime time to feel anxious. I wouldn't keep myself busy, which I do now, I'd sit and I'd worry. Whatever it was, I would worry that tomorrow was a work day and I'd have to leave Sam at nursery, that, no, that uh, Greg, my husband, wasn't about to pick him up if something went wrong, that all that was on me. Everything and anything I would worry about and I would sit, I would get dizzy, I'd feel terrible, I'd get bad headaches, just everything that you could possibly think of to be honest. I felt physically terrible and mentally my head was just running in circles about everything and anything. I just want to say, I think it's easier to say this to you, like this, I know there's still a screen between us but rather than writing it down, is that please, if you're feeling like this, go and get some help. I didn't for so long and I suffered and my family suffered for so long. It's not a sideline of postnatal depression, it's it's not something to, to think, oh well, it's just what I'm left with. It's a thing on its own and it's so important to go and get some help because if you don't, it could just spiral. There are so many um, methods that can help you deal with it. I mean, mine hasn't gone away, not at all, but it's manageable and it's better and it's easier to cope with. My husband knows how to cope with it. People around me know how to cope with me if they think I might be like that. My friends know not really to talk to me about it because I don't like to talk about it. It makes me feel worse if I think about it. Um, I've sat down to do this vlog just like that. I haven't planned it. I haven't got any notes around me. I just want to say after watching the C word and watching how influential somebody can be that I suppose what I want to say is if this vlog or any of my blog posts can help one single mom out there that is feeling like crap right at this moment to go to their GP to contact a um, charity like Pandas which is a wonderful charity which I've I only found when I was coming to the end of my really, really worst patch of anxiety. But there's charities out there to help. There's people like me that we, that know how you're feeling. If you want to drop me an email or anything and just go, I'm feeling like crap, what shall I do? Please do. I'm not saying I can change the world. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not medically trained. I'm, I don't know all the answers. But I hate to think of another mum on her own feeling like I felt because anxiety isn't something that's you hear people say I feel really anxious a lot but actual anxiety is such a different thing and it's such an overwhelming feeling and you feel like a big fat failure like I did I felt like such a failure as a mom such a failure as a wife as a daughter as a friend every possible way I could feel like a failure I did but you're not and it's completely natural to go through things and to feel rubbish sometimes and that's okay and 
it does get better it can get better and my anxiety I don't think if I'm really honest I don't think it will ever leave me completely but I can walk out that door now and when it was really bad setting foot out of that door was the hardest thing in the world to do and now I don't even think about it I just go so I just want to say if you need the help want the help go and get it and don't be scared no one's going to judge you and if they do sod them who cares because it, what's m the most important is that you are healthy and you are okay which gives you a, a, the feelings and the ability to feel okay to enjoy your family and your child and there are people out there sometimes a bit difficult to find but there are people out there that can help you and I just wanted to say if you're suffering from it or you think you might be suffering it or if you're just feeling it incredibly wobbly then talk to somebody it doesn't matter who it you know I only spoke to my husband for a long time and I don't think oops, sorry bad hair I don't think he even knew what to do with me but it does help to talk and if there's anyone out there that doesn't want to go and talk to a professional that doesn't want to you know, that's not ready to take that step yet, then feel free to email me, tweet me, Instagram me, anything, anything that I can do. I want to help people not feel the way I felt. That's all I want to say, really. Just, just go out there and, and get the help and, and don't let something like anxiety restrict your life and rule your life because there are ways around it, I promise. And um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely day and everyone had a lovely bank holiday and as I say, if anyone wants to get in touch, then please feel free to do so. I'll see you uh, for another video at some point, hopefully. Um, and I can hear Sam now, so I better go and get him up. <laughs> so uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.